Yeah, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. You know what I didn't consider before with the balloon challenges is that people could be using those physics hacks to set them up. <laughs> hmm, that, that could very well be it, but maybe not. I mean, it could just very well be some special path they're taking for like coins or maybe they clip through some object or something like that i don't know but anyway <laughs> just kind of speculating here it could very well be that they're so puzzling that most just haven't figured out how to get them <laughs> and oh, i was already at the mushroom kingdom anyway Let's go ahead. Hi! Ah, let's go ahead and buy something new. Well, actually, since this really isn't a part of any other outfit, I guess I could put that bad boy on. Like, well, I mean, yeah, it doesn't have a hat associated with it, I mean, so yeah. Uh, I mean, at least I don't think there's some sort of hat associated with it or something like that. I mean, I suppose I could change my hat to match it a little bit more. I can't see. I, okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so let's see here. Hmm. What would be. Yeah, I guess that. <laughs> Woo! Technically not a part of the set, but the bottoms don't even have a part of the set. Just like the invisible cap. <laughs> And sure enough, Luigi is right on nearby as usual. Yeah, sure, sure. Let's see how things are rolling here. And I am up for hiding it. Where do we start? We start up here. Yeah, this always seems to be like the highest spot. Hmm. I could go straight up to the pyramid, but that might be pretty easy. How about... How about... We try and get something over on the ye old poisonous island, like with some fancy long jumps. Go! Yeah. Oh, this is this is never gonna work at this. <laughs> Hold on! Ha ha! I didn't realize this before, but you can indeed. <laughs> but you can indeed restart things that way, and you don't lose coins even if you're not standing on land. Ah, uh, well. Maybe if I can't get it rapidly there, maybe I should try it a different way. And go 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 go. There's a bridge over here. <laughs> Must get to a bridge and probably cut the corner to boots and half jump. Well, it's more like rope jump and. And we're gonna get as well, probably behind this pillar, I guess. <laughs> I was gonna say we're gonna get as far to the back corner as possible, but it's not looking like it at that route that I took. I don't know. Maybe it's maybe it is faster to take the moving platform than just kind of do the dive move right off the top once you're able to reach some platforms or something like I did before early on. Anyway, let's find it. <laughs> uh, could try Carlos's. It's the mid-range type of dealio. Oh, it is actually. <laughs> oh, it is across the. Okay. Oh, it's 40 seconds though. Uh. So yeah, it probably is taking this, <laughs> like to some extent, like just until I can reach that platform down there. I'm just gonna try and judge my jump here. Meow. This should work out just fine. Eh, ooh, yeah, okay. Actually, maybe I should have went for those blocks instead. Eh, actually, it doesn't much matter, because I still have to wait for it to to move and stuff like that, so yeah. Anyway, and dive, 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 roll, 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 go, 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 go. And wait, wait, where did I see the... Uh, where... Didn't I see it across on here? Uh... How did that, what? I could have sw didn't wasn't the didn't you see the balloon across here too? Like what? Where I was going right in the direction that it was at what? <laughs> Let's see this again here. 
Okay, let's just. I, I I don't get. I don't know. Yeah, it is there. Where'd it go? <laughs> oh wait, or is it on the power line? Uh, if it's on the power line, then I may have to take a different route to it. Yeah, I don't know. Is that on the power line? Well, I know how to get to that power line. It's just a matter of... Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm going to take this route over to this side over here. Oh, that's way too wide of a turn. And go down. And then to the left. Oh, no, there, it is blue. It is hanging out in midair there. So I guess I must take the platform. I see... Okay. <laughs> I'm glad I got a better angle at that, but... <laughs> yeah, I did not see that at all from the other side, though. I don't know. Alright. And we go! So I guess I can just flip-flop onto that platform or something like that, probably. Like like I did before. And... Oop, yep. And... Yep. Oh, that was actually way too early. <laughs> Uh, this is turning into a poop shoot. Alright, let's go. <laughs> and maybe I'll, I'll just wait a little bit longer this time. I mean, it. Oh, I get it! The balloon is inside those blocks. So what happens is that you can't see it from. Yeah! Ah! Okay. So what we do is we get these started here to break apart the blocks. And yeah, okay. I was gonna say, it just seemed kind of awkward that I wouldn't have been able to see that normally. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Now I understand. <laughs> and 134, we definitely got. A little bit of a coin profit there, and yes, you can redo the same one multiple times in a row if you want to keep your streak. But you know, I'm just trying to make things variety hour. <laughs> uh, let's see here, it's another. I was gonna, you know, maybe it's not so mid range. These are all like really high here. Uh, it looks like it's all the way up top of the pyramid. Probably at the back corner, so... Yeah! yeah! Even if your hat leaves the starting area, you are... off to... Wait, what? Oh, that's... I was looking at the... power line for some reason. Anyway, there it was up there. <laughs> uh, okay, 134. Sometimes I get awkward tunnel vision, I don't know. <laughs> I gotta see page 3 here. Yeah, it's all like, really large rewards. Uh, oh wait, wait! Oh, that other one that I got. Oh no, it, no, it's here. <laughs> I was gonna say the other one was popped. No, 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 it's here. Okay, let's try uh, this one then. Mhm. Mm that is. Uh, it's far. <laughs> oh, it's on top of those pillars there. Uh, wait, twenty-eight seconds. How? <laughs> this might be one of those. Near impossible ones with the physics or something like that. I got I have no other choice but to try it anyway. Okay, so I'm gonna try though. Getting to those pillars from well, I, I don't know. I was gonna say try getting to those pillars from way up here, but no, that's actually way, way too long of a dive there. Ooh! <laughs> I was close. Yeah, this isn't gonna work. <laughs> and it took me like 40 seconds just to get to the the edge of that pillar there, so I'm not so sure about this one whatsoever. Yeah, I'm not gonna... <laughs> I'm not gonna replay that if I don't... Wait, wait, actually, is Glide on in here? Oh... I never considered Glide on. Okay, so... Maybe I'll give that another shot after all. Ah, glide on, go! <laughs> and no shoots. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Wait, actually, why? I don't think I'm gonna actually get enough. Well, I mean, I will make it to the side, but. Uh, well, I'm gonna have to actually do some of these fancy moves. Oh, that, oh, that platform! That platform is not in my favor here. <laughs> I mean, yeah, there's coins, but. Um, will I be able to get some more coins along the way here? It doesn't look like it, but yeah, the pathway is go here, then left, and then up. 
So there's probably some coins collected along the way on this. I don't know where. Unless, unless, oh wait, actually, could it, oh, maybe to extend the time I'm supposed to use the ones up top here along the way. Let's try that. Just give it one more shot. <laughs> and yeah, it doesn't matter when I collect the coins, I suppose. It's just, I mean, they're, they're gonna add one second to the clock whenever, so. Yeah. And let's see if this makes any sort of difference here. Like, maybe I'll go from here over to here, and then I'll go from here all the way over to this. No, that's, that's probably not gonna work. <laughs> I thought maybe it wasn't glide on, but nah, there's just no way. Unless they're collecting coins with glide on along the way or something like that. Hmm. Hmm. That could be my only hope. I'll, I'll give that a shot as my last attempt, I suppose, here. Uh, but I don't know if it'll actually be be any different here. Alright, glide on. Let's get some coins. Yeah, just a couple. Oh, jeez. Just, just a couple. Maybe you even collected these over here. It's just a couple of... Hmm. And I really don't know if it's any faster to glide over to... See, that platform is still not in my favor here. <laughs> hmm. And I don't think I have the jump height to actually pull off getting up there. Unless, oh, I bet you they're using that glide-on trick that you can fly really, really long distances somehow with some sort of physics glitch or whatever. So maybe, maybe I just don't know how to get it because I don't know about that. <laughs> All right, let's mix it up then, do something else. Yeah, I'll have to look into those special physics tricks or whatnot. Hmm, let's try... Wooden Shy Guy plaque, or Cardboard Shy Guy plaque, I suppose. So that's, uh... That's, oh, oh, wow! That's on the ledge of the 8-bit area. Uh... Well, there's really no other way to get to that except from um, top top, but... You gotta do some sort of really fancy hat jump shenanigans to get to that ledge. Probably. Uh, let's see here. Just kind of... Oh, oh. Well, that would have worked if I would have hit the ledge. I mean, if I were to grab onto the ledge and land on the ledge. <laughs> Try it again. Uh, we got this. And actually, if I would have landed on my hat, for that matter. Actually, you know what I should do? Get over to this edge just really quick here. And it's because that's the closer. Oh! Oh! Yeah, that loops. <laughs> I was gonna say because it, if you go like more of a straight line, it cuts off more time. I mean, it, it saves you more time. Excuse me. All right, that wasn't too difficult as long as you know that move. Just probably like the glide on thing. <laughs> um, do I? I mm, what could possibly be that expensive for ten seconds? Where is that look? Mm, I mean, that, that looks really far away. Two, I mean, th yeah, 327 meters. Ten, that... All the way over there, huh? I... I don't know. <laughs> what about this one? <laughs> uh, they got... Maybe they're doing some sort of trick that I'm not thinking of. I don't know. But yeah, that's got to be on the little poison island, too. Uh, what about this one? That is probably on the rooftops or across the power lines. I'll give that one a try because I have the power lines as my savior. Yeah, there's no power lines that go over to that island, so... Well, I mean, aside from that, that one there, but I mean, that's not a really direct route or anything like that. And we go! <laughs> Uh, I just don't want to take any side routes here, that probably... Uh, uh, I'm gonna go... Uh, see here... This direction it is... Oh, oh, oh I see, I see, oh! Oh-ho! oh ho Victory! And... 
Let's take a look around here for something that doesn't look evil again. <laughs> or impossible again, I should say. Uh, 184. That's probably a Glidon thing. Probably, well, I don't know. I just don't see it. <laughs> it's probably behind that wall. Probably. I'll give it a shot. Yes. And... Go! I said go. Don't, just jump, Glidon, jump! <laughs> uh, oh wait, is that inside the... Jaxi area? Because if so, I'm gonna need a... Need a certain buddy here. Uh, wait, where's the Jaxi stand? <laughs> uh... Oh, where was that? Really? Because I don't see the balloon down in there. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of puzzled here. <laughs> I didn't even see it on top of the statues, which is a place that you can stand to get yourself to. So yeah, I think it's probably inside that Jaxi, Jaxi building there. I suppose. Mm, so I guess I should start with looking for a Jaxi stand like that one over there then. And go! Ooh, oh, oh. Yeah, I should probably dive into this a little bit closer here. There we go. Yeah. What? You can't call Jaxi doing? <laughs> okay, that's uh that puts a monkey wrench in my plan, but how about I just try something Ooh. Well. I was gonna say, let's try and get on there like that, but I could get on top of the building with uh, Glide on, probably. And then, like, do some fancy dive into it or something? I don't know. I think I could. I get on that with Glide on? Maybe. All I know is. Uh, I don't know. Hmm. Well, well, wait, 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 wait. Wait. We might be able to do this. Ha <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna assume that it's in here. Yeah, it is. <laughs> um. Okay. Woo! Ah! <laughs> All right, that'll work. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I think I think I'm done here. They're putting them in. These, these balloons, they're out of my league. <laughs> Alright, I am ready to look at the brochures now. <laughs> it's The brochure looking seems a whole lot less stressful here. Home of Sand Kingdom, home of Red Sands and lively locals. Ostrina, gateway to the stark beauty of the desert. Population, middling. Size expansive indeed. Locals, Tosrinans, and Moais. Currency, a pyramid shaped. I wonder why that is. <laughs> Industry, tourism, and precious stones. Are they talking about that underground area, like with the ring where the boss was? Temperature, definitely naked weather time. I would just be running around with nothing on. They were like, what are we gonna do about this guy? We can't catch him. He's he's so fast he can roll and everything. <laughs> the ruins greet you with an impressive gates. The bright colors of Tostarina. A Tostarina tourism. <laughs> Tostarina tourism. That's kind of a tongue twister. A small town that serves as the hub for tourists planning to visit the inverted pyramid. The colorful buildings and cheerful people provide a warm welcome for visitors. They're happy to provide direction, so don't hesitate to say hello. Mysterious ancient, ancient ruins. Head north from the town, you'll be greeted by ancient ruins that dot the expansive deserts. Though many have become conflict regions patrolled by bullet bills, <laughs> status as important heritage sites is undeniable. And they're pretty easy to dodge anyway, so not that dangerous. If you even wanted to, you could stand on the bullet bill cannon, they'll never be able to get you. Your eye will be drawn to the large stone tower at the heart of the ruins. Due to extensive hollowing underground, quicksand has become prevalent in this area, so watch out. Actually, you can get out of there pretty easily with the pipes. But anyway, the Moais love their shades. 
They'll run if chased, but they're proud people who have long inhabited these ruins. <laughs> Please, be polite. I will not capture their body. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Inverted Pyramid, the true can't miss of this region. <laughs> the Inverted Pyramid may look unstable, but rest assured, it never topples and has thrilled tourists for years. It has said that the legendary artifact called the Binding Band lies within, and the upside down pyramid symbolizes how those joined by it will never part, even if the world turns upside down. <laughs> Get it? Get it? like a precious gem in on itself. And Jaxi, the one that I could not get during Balloon World. Let's have a look at the curious local transport method known as the Jaxi. <laughs> Just hop on the back of one, and as you might guess from their appearance, you'll be in for a wild, but completely reliable ride. You could go right across poison. Make good use of them, and you'll be exploring this unforgiving desert in comfort and style. Payment required in advance. <laughs> Living heart of the deserts. Here's a spot to moisten your dried and withered hearts with greenery and water to make you forget you're in the desert. The fish and birds are plentiful and well worth a visit. So beautiful, you think you're at a resort. That's why there's people from all over the world flopping on over here. I was gonna say all over the country, but no, this is a worldwide game, the way it is set up. The keys to the kingdom. Enjoy the small, but lively desert visit village and its charming inhabitants. Wonder at the inverted pyramid and its upside down magic. Watch for the gem iconography carved in the relief on the, of the woods. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah. And once again, Crazy Cap had a hand in this particular brochure. And with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part when I plop on over to the next world in the sequence.